A ring, she wrote. Should be this ring-shaped ancient... Wow! It's really huge now that we look at it. Next hanging eaves. If we look from here, is it that pavilion? Hmm. It does look quiet. Should be a nice place for meetings. <sighs> Ugh, getting eepy again. That must be the place then. I'll get going. Reverberation. Ha! Embracing change. damage.
What do I think of you? A worthwhile expedition. you will.
apologies for my delay. You looked adorable, focusing on the Wei Chi board. I didn't want to interrupt you. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh? And what makes you think so? Those tokens from Jinsi. It was your idea, was it not? <laughs> so, you've guessed it. Sorry, Rover. Jinjo faced multiple threats back then. And we had to be cautious. We did not intend to inconvenience you. I regret our lack of hospitality. Still, I owe you an apology in person. This time... <laughs> I just wanted to see you. The brilliant mind that always understood my unspoken words. I am very grateful you decided to come. Apologies for giving you that impression, Rover. That's not how we treat our saviors. I merely have a few questions, and I was wondering if you may have the answers. Does this game of Weichi look familiar to you, Rover? Apologies. I heard about your memory loss. Please, pardon me. There is a local tale about the secret of immortality being hidden on Mount Firmament. Have you heard about it? Yes, I have a slightly different version of this tale to share. Centuries ago, a Taoist cultivator met an enigmatic visitor on Mount Firmament. Despite their age difference, they soon became friends and often played Weichi together. One day, a woodcutter stumbled upon them, having lost his way home. Their game mesmerized him so much that he didn't notice the red tie on his basket rotting away. Panicked, he bumped into the Weichi board. Despite the interruption, the visitor remained unfazed. They offered the woodcutter some tea, then guided him down the mountain, shielding him from dangerous temporal disruptions. After that, the visitor disappeared. Many years later, the Taoist cultivator became a legendary hermit guru. Upon returning to Mount Firmament, in his final years, he reunited with that elusive visitor. The two resumed their unfinished game. People believe the visitor shared their secret of immortality through cleverly placed Weichi pieces as a final parting gift. Yes and no. This game is missing the final 20 moves. It is unfinished. That was a bit different from what you heard before, I guess. The story changed over time, infused with fantasy in each retelling. But that's how old tales go, slowly losing their truth as they're passed down. Precisely. The legend may be shrouded in myth, but that game of Weichi was real. Embedded within its records lies a cryptic message. This game record can solve the crisis of time. From what I know, 
Only the Sentinel in its prime has the power to manipulate time through its possession of a complete temporal mandate. For us mere mortals, controlling time is indeed similar to gaining immortality. As the records state, it only reveals itself when Mount Firmament emerges. But how it ties to the temporal mandate remains an enigma, at least for now. If that is the case, we'll be able to heal the Sentinel's wounds. But our chances are looking slim. That game record could just hold my teacher's memories. Not any real value. So I am presenting this as merely a personal request. I am planning to go find that record. Could you please join me? for lending me a hand. I promise it will be worth your while. Splendid. Very well. Let's meet on the gallery road outside Hongzhen. I still have some preparations to do. Please, go ahead. I'll join you later. I should try to smile more. Why let me be there? Plan with convention. Make this quick. I Let's reach Father. To I see my way clear. Keep your eyes open. You're here. Well, as the Wayfinder, I do know a couple of shortcuts. The notes only provided a vague idea of where the game record is. I've determined the most likely location on my last visit. We'll be heading there, 
Let's see if we can find anything new. After dealing with those artificers, I ruled out the other locations on my way to join you. But one can only do so much alone. This is why I need your help. How reliable. Then let's get going. <laughs> Cheng Li. What is it? Nothing, Rover. I just thought the snow is beautiful today. You seem curious about that ancient structure. It looks familiar. Like the abandoned court of Savante facility I saw. But bigger in scale. I heard it first appeared along with our sentinel. Later, the court of Savante based... Every winter, my hometown buzzed as people left their mark in the fresh snow. Hoping for dreams to come true when it melted. Did you try it too, Chung Li? <sighs> no. I only watched from afar. My forte always melted the snow faster than I liked. See the whole of Hongzhen from here. I never noticed how beautiful it looked during my previous visits. It's the same place as always. I suppose it's my state of mind that has changed. I don't know. Maybe it's because your presence makes me feel at ease. Wait! I smell tacit discords in that cave. No, there's more. Tacit discords, humans, and... and... Smells like a whole bunch of messed up frequencies. Ugh, it's so familiar. Come on! After all we've been through, you still don't trust my sniffer? Huh? Be grateful. I'm giving you a warning. Rover, did something happen? It's in the same direction we're going. Could it be?
signs of climbing. Someone may have been here before us. Get away from me! Uh, I can't hold up much longer. Help! Help! Thank goodness! Please stand back. We'll take it from here. I can fight! Let me help! Thanks for your help. I... I'm okay. Wait... You... Are you... You're that hero who fought against the Stronodian. And you also resolved the time crisis here with Madam Magistrate. Everyone's been talking about you. And Lady Chung Li, I, I never thought I'd have the chance to see you in person. Oh, without your help, I'd have been a goner for sure. I can't die here. Not when I've got someone waiting for me. I finally, finally found it. After all this time. Ugh. While we've solved the crisis in Mount Firmament for the time being, public access to the mountain is still restricted. Before entering the mountain, any explorer must submit a request and can only do so while accompanied by the Midnight Rangers. Sir, could you please share your reasons for traveling here alone? I heard about Mount Firmament's legend, so I came to find its secret. I've only been in the mountain for half a day. Everything was going smoothly before those monsters pounced on me on my way back. I must get back. Fooling. She's still waiting for me. It seems he is still hiding something from us. He needs to go back to Hongjin for proper medical attention. Time's against us. Agreed. The appearance of tacit discords is indeed unusual. We can ask him later when he's recovered a bit more. On that note, we still don't know his identity. Judging from his uniform, he might be affiliated with the Pioneer Association. Then perhaps that someone is in Hongjin. Could be his friend, or an acquaintance. Good point, Rover. Let's head back. His companions? Um, sorry, I joined the association not long ago. I don't really know them. His gear, though? These are last year's designs. Perhaps you should go ask Yoning. She's been a member for quite some time. She might know him. Yoning's just up ahead. Isn't that Wu Li? What happened to him? 
Mm, not really. He showed up in town and started asking weird questions to all the older folks. They've been avoiding him ever since. The secret of immortality. I found it. Oh, he really went up the mountain, didn't he? Oh my. Quick, get him to a doctor. No. Uh, I'm fine. Go find Fu Ling. Sir, do you know where his companions might be? I'm not sure. There are lots of other people in town who are dressed just like him. Why don't you try asking them? Whoa! Uh, uh, greetings, Lady Chung Lee. Uh, how may I help you today, Lady Chung Lee? Uh, the person on your back, is he okay? We found him on Mount Firmament. Do you know where his companions might be? Isn't this Wu Li? What happened to him? He's one of the Pioneer Association's explorers, but we don't see him around Jinjo too often. I remember, he went on sabbatical months ago, and he left with Fu Ling. Yes, Fu Ling, his girlfriend. I think they're visiting Hong Jian together. They're staying at the inn over there. Oh, Fu Ling asked us about his whereabouts not long ago. She seemed quite worried. Speaking of, is he really okay? Perhaps we should get him to a hospital first. No, I'm not going. Fooling. She's waiting for me. Don't worry. We'll help you find Fooling. I trust you can use it to the full. Take it easy. <coughs> Thank you. I'm okay now. Who are you? And Wooly, is he? Yes, I am. Can you please tell me what happened? Wooly! Wooly! You're hurt! I've been looking for you. You didn't pick up my calls. Great news, Fuling. I found it. Finally. I found a way to slow down your illness. No more pain, my love. We can finally be together. Forever. You mean that legend? It's real? Fuling, are you... Are you not happy? No, I am. I I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> yes. Wooly! Thank you, Rover, Lady Chungli. You saved his life. May I please ask, what on earth happened? I've never seen Wu Li like that. So, he said he only spent half a day in the mountains. Was that not the case? N no, I I've been... I've been waiting for almost a week. It's not unusual for Wooly to be out of touch for a few days when he goes on long trips. This time, however, seemed longer than usual. 
If it weren't for you two showing up, I would have asked the Midnight Rangers to help me search for him in the mountains. Lee, he... he did it for me. I used to work as a landscape painter. Wu Li and I met through work, and we traveled to many places together. A few months ago, I got really sick. It affected my ability to walk, which got worse over time. We couldn't go on our adventures like we used to. Wu Li stopped taking on work and traveled all over the world to find a cure for me. Despite his efforts, we couldn't find any cures. Until two weeks ago, when he brought me to Hong Zhen, said he had a surprise for me. I thought it was just going to be a relaxing trip, but he disappeared for seven days, and now he's back rambling about having found a way to stop my condition from progressing. Mount Firmament's secret of immortality, I presume? Yes. Wu Li told me that he's researched and found an untouched paradise on Mount Firmament. A place where time stands still. He said if I lived there, my condition would never worsen. It, it, it cannot fully cure me. But at least we can spend eternity together. At first I thought it was just a myth. But then you brought up how he only spent half a day in the mountains. Those were my thoughts as well. But Wu Li seemed very certain. Mount Firmament used to have temporal disruptions caused by its tumultuous history. However, thanks to Magistrate Jinchi and Rover, these disruptions have been dealt with. Or so we had hoped. So there are still unaddressed temporal disruptions in the mountains. And unfortunately, Wu Li has stumbled upon one, mistaking it for the legendary cure he was searching for. Little did he know, it would only put him in more danger. I see. So that's why there were rumors of rangers being here to take care of the leftover tacit discords and block off access to the mountain. Then, if this temporal disruption you speak of is truly so dangerous, Rover. Lady Chung, please help us get rid of it. For the sake of everyone here. He truly thinks it's the only way to save you. He's willing to take a slim chance just for you. I... Freezing my own time. I don't think that I should do that. It's not my best option. I appreciate your concerns. But I'll be fine. Dreams always come to an end. Eventually, we have to wake up and keep moving forward. <coughs> I haven't talked this much in a long time. a little tired. I'll be fine after some rest. Once Wu Li wakes up, I'll explain everything to him. If you have any other ideas, just tell him. But if you keep it all to yourself, no one, even those closest to you, will know how you really feel. Yes, I understand that. Rover. Things are taking a turn. We should probably tell Lady Shang Yi first.
It's time. What brings Bring you here at this time of the day? day? See strange appearances of tacit discords in the mountains and undiscovered temporal disruptions. There are several questionable details according to Rover's description. What do you make of Fooling's words from earlier, Rover? claimed to have spent only half a day in the mountains, but it's been seven days since he returned to Hongzhen. That does sound like some kind of temporal disruption, one that wasn't strong enough to affect Hongzhen. After Jinxi's battle with the Sentinel, she ordered Midnight Rangers to patrol Hongzhen and inspect Mount Firmament for any lingering temporal disruption before reopening it to the public. Rover, you've been exploring the mountains lately, so I'm sure you have a good grasp on Mount Firmament. But if there are any hidden disruptions we missed... Precisely. Yet, why did it really appear at this point? Legend differs from the situation at Mount Fervent we're familiar with. In that tale, mortals were spared the cost of losing years from their lives. He was utterly convinced of his discovery, and he somehow managed to run into temporal disruptions in half a day's time. Also, when I questioned him, he evaded my inquiries. that are most challenging to detect aren't usually outright falsehoods. Rather, they hide parts of the truth. The explorer wanted to save his friend, indeed. But he was also hiding something. I've become rather curious about the truth behind this temporal disruption. Did you notice something, Rover? For someone with eternal enemies, they should hold on to any chance of survival, no matter how long. Is that what you think? She's come to terms with her destiny. Or maybe she never planned on continuing to live like that forever. Chuckling. <laughs> well, please pardon my baseless speculations. I knew you'd notice too, too. The frequency disturbance here is weak. It's similar to past temporal disruptions at Mount Fragment, but not exactly the same. Master Shrenyal's records show that this is where the game record last appeared. This is also where we found that explorer. As Jasmine mentioned. This phenomenon may indeed have something to do with that legendary gaming record. Exactly. If 
this were to be the case, then we are not the only ones who are to its whereabouts. The explorer did not tell us about his source of information. But his knowledge of John Furman far exceeds that of that first time visitor. You mean... Rangers just lock all entrances to the mountain for now now. And Chang Chang Lee, you still have the power to send and garrison troops as needed. We left Mount Furment in a hurry. I need to go back up the mountain and investigate further. I have some theories that could use confirmation. We're still unsure about the exact location and range of the temporal disruption. Regardless, Experience is a pressing issue that needs our attention. It may get dangerous. Well, well, thank you, Rover. Thank you again for your help. You were supposed to be here for a relaxing time. But it seems another crisis has popped up. Do take extra caution.